John Venables, who was convicted of the murder of Jamie Bulger, will have a parole hearing in November. In a statement, the parole board said that a panel is going to carefully examine a huge range of evidence, including details of the original crime and any evidence of behaviour change, as well as explore the harm done and impact the crime has had on victims. The prisoner and witnesses are then questioned at length during the hearing, which often lasts a full day or more. Parole reviews are undertaken thoroughly and with extreme care. Protecting the public is our number one priority. Let's bring in our correspondent Sabah Chowdhury for more on this. So Sabah, look, that's what the parole board have to say about the reasons why uh, Venables has been given this two-day hearing. Just give us the background to this point and uh, the conviction that John Venables got. Good afternoon. Absolutely a very controversial decision indeed, but I'll start by uh, giving some context, as you say. So it was around 30 years ago uh, that John Venables, age 10, alongside Robert Thompson, kidnapped, tortured and murdered a two-year-old child called James Bulger. The toddler was snatched from a shopping centre in Merseyside uh, in February 1993. His body was left uh, for dead at a railway line in Liverpool after he was uh, beaten, uh, after he was beaten to death with bricks and a metal bar. Now, both men were uh, released in 2001 uh, after some years in prison. They were later given new identities and were also uh, given a licence for life, meaning that although they had been released early, they still had to abide by a very strict set uh, of rules throughout the remainder of their sentence. However, John Venables re-offended uh, back in around 2010 and 2017. He had to go back to jail. Uh, now, that's the backstory. What we have learned today is that uh, John Venables has been granted a two-day parole hearing to see uh, if he can be released early. This will be uh, on November the 14th and the 15th. He'll be cross-examined uh, in private and evidence will be taken by those that knew him and worked with him, for example, his psychiatrist and uh, also his probation officer. Now, the parole board have stressed that reviews uh, are undertaken thoroughly and with extreme care and that protecting the public is their number one priority.